Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use webhook relay to relay your webhooks from some kind of a platform to your basically local host testing environment. That's what they are used for and that's what they are useful for. Now, for example, Stripe has their own system, which is great and that's easy to use. It always works. It's a very pleasant experience. Now, on the other hand, PayPal does not have their own native tool and you have to use something like this. Now, this is kind of a free tool, but it is sort of paid as well. You only get uh, so much stuff that you can do on the free version. But if you really need something, I believe this will be the tool for you. I've researched them and uh, uh, this one really was uh, one of the cheaper ones, uh, or rather the one that you can actually use for free to some extent. The other ones are paid right away or they have very, very little uh, use. Okay, so let's see how it all works and let's see how it uh, uh, can be made to work, right? First of all, you'll need to install it. You'll need to install it. And uh, in order to do that, you'll need to do a bit of searching or you can go to the description and you'll find the link that I will provide. You need to go to this uh, uh, page, this uh, installation options, and then you need to get to a Windows part, okay? Windows, uh, console client or however we like to call it, right? And then you download it. You download this one and you'll have this uh, executable file, Excel file, right? Now, you do not double click on that. Unfortunately, we haven't advanced that far to have a proper interface, right? It's still a console and you'll need to enter some command line arguments. So you have to launch it from a uh, command line, basically, right? Uh, I'll get to that a bit later, but for now, let's take a look at the actual tool at the dashboard. So basically, you register and you get to the dashboard, right? You get to the dashboard uh, and we, we have uh, a few things here, but the main goal basically is to create uh, a bucket, okay? Now, a bucket is basically a pair of, uh, let's call them coordinates, right? So you have the input, the input URL, okay? And then you have the output URL. So they provide a URL to which uh, the PayPal or some other system will send that hook, and then it redirects to your computer. And that's all that there is to it, okay? It redirects obviously via the uh, CLI mechanism or that little console application basically, right? Uh, and that's it. It's quite a simple arrangement and I believe you can do something like this yourself. You won't have to pay for anything. Uh, but uh, if, if you want to use a third party, uh, this is an option for you. Now, I have already one created, so let's create another one. Let's say uh, test uh, test B, right? Test bucket. And I'll just show you what to, what to do and what uh, not to do maybe. So we have this... Uh, endpoint, right? We have this initial endpoint. This is what we provide to the PayPal, okay? Or to another uh, system, right? I'm just using PayPal as an example. This is what you provide. It's generated, it's there, and you don't need to mess with it. You need to mess with output destinations, okay? So in this, simply provide your local host address, okay? Your local host address with the full route okay it has to be the whole route so you have your local api and the whole route to which you'll get your hook and that's it that's all you need to do you create output and that's it uh, you can create multiple of them but i don't really see the point uh, i guess some people might use that so we have uh, input and we have output which you need to actually uh, declare. Now I'm going to delete this one because I have all, one already prepared. Okay. And as you can see, it has payments finished. That's going to be the route. It's going to be the route. And I'm going to copy this. Okay. Default endpoint. Now I'm going to PayPal and I'm going to webhook simulator, right? Let's say I'm going to provide this right here and let's say checkout order approved. Let's do that one and let's send test. Okay, and that's it. The, send, uh, the test driver is sent. Okay, and in Visual Studio, 
you see it reaches a breakpoint. Uh, obviously it doesn't do anything but it does reach the breakpoint. Uh, so this is how you sort of uh, get started with it and how it works and now let's take a look at how uh, you actually start the console right which is very very simple to do okay very very simple to do if i go back to the buckets i go to my paypal bucket right here okay and then i get this relay forward b right flag b paypal right that's the name of a bucket the b part but relay is actually the excel file the executable the actual application and we won't need this so basically you just copy this and you provide it in the uh, in the console see right here we have the full soft directory okay where the executable is uh, the executable so this is what you execute and then you provide these command line arguments and that's all that there is to it now if you want to learn stripe development how to set up stripe checkouts how to stripe uh, set up stripe subscriptions uh, you should take a look at my stripe implementation course that is implementation using blazor and .NET core or .NET 5 apis and you can also take a look at my blazor courses my api development courses also do take a look at my videos on stripe how to handle refunds how to handle sort of payment setup via the apis uh, and also how to retrieve the charges from uh, your account uh, now that said subscribe to this channel and we will conclude this video